Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. Today's video is all about deception. Trying to make it difficult for your opponent to see where you're going to hit the ball. The tips in this video come from Craig Bryant. Craig is a former England international player and now is a full-time professional table tennis coach. So if you want to get better at deception, making it harder for your opponent to know where you're going to hit the ball, then keep watching. This video is brought to you in partnership with Brybar Table Tennis. Visit brybartt.co.uk today for a wide range of rubbers, blades, bats, balls and clothing from all your favourite table tennis brands. So changing direction with deception. Uh, it doesn't have to be as complex as it sounds. Uh, players typically pick up on lots of different movements that players tend to have. Uh, so if I'm playing backhand to backhand, what can be quite common is that my shoulders might turn when I'm looking to change direction or my feet position might change uh, and that's giving signals to my opponent. So what I'm trying to do when I'm changing direction is just limit it to my wrist that's making those changes. So I'm playing a cross court and then it's just the change in my wrist that's changing the direction and then I'm limiting the amount of signals that my opponent can see. Uh, a similar thing for changing di direction on the forehand, we're looking to take the ball in front of us for playing cross court. To play down the line, we're looking to let that ball come a little bit further and then again just a small bend in the wrist and again that allows me to play that ball down the line without giving away too many signals. So I'd say it's more important to make sure that we're being accurate with the shot. If you're able to play the ball hard as well, then fantastic. If not, and you're finding errors are coming, then just making sure that this, the deception is a, a good level. That should be enough to be able to create some cheaper opportunities. So there really can be a huge benefit to using these deceptive shots. Uh, it's a great way to create cheap points uh, and cheap opportunities and just by spending 10 or 20 minutes on it I'm sure you'll start to find that you're creating those chances against the people that you're practicing with um, and you should be able to see those benefits in a relatively short amount of time as compared to practicing 5,000 shots on your forehand uh, you might see minimal benefit there don't be afraid to try something a little bit different and a little bit more creative to create those cheaper opportunities Thank you very much for watching and a big thank you to Craig Bryant for sharing his tips on 
deception. If you want to find more information about Craig and his coaching services, then go to Craig's website at topedgetabletennis.co.uk. And thanks also to Brybar Table Tennis for sponsoring this video. I'll have more videos coming soon, so I'll see you then. Bye bye.